Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today I'm going to try and get through the rest of Paramecia Castle. Um, there's just a few more treasure chests I need to get, and then we can get to the end and try to stop Leon from taking over the world. So with that, let's continue onward. Okay, there's a chest down there I want to get first. And it contains a heart that I'm not going to use. So let's go back up then. And there's the next chest. And it contains a Valium, yet another item that I refuse to use. So we want to get to that room that's below us. We're going to have to walk around this wall counterclockwise. Yeah? No invisible walls for us. Not in this castle. They built it right. There is more useful treasure around here somewhere. I promise. I know it's here. Just have to find it. Whew, I didn't guess the wrong room. I thought one of these was empty, but I guessed correctly. Man, generals aren't as hard as I remember. And we get the Greed Cane, which is a new cane that we could give to Maria, but um, and technically it is more powerful than the Evil Cane, but I think it, like, heals the target that you attack, or something like that. Uh, I don't remember, but I never use it, so I'm not too worried about that. She's not going to be attacking with it anyway. Now I just backtrack a little and take the other path this time. Man, there's a lot of goddesses here. They keep on dropping Bacchus wines, but I got Berserk going now, so... Okay, now uh, we have two paths to choose from. I'm going to take the left path first, because it leads us to some good treasure there. And we want to walk around to get that chest below. Okay, am I ready for this one? Yeah, I could use a little bit of healing, but... Yeah, this chest is going to have... Uh, a pretty powerful monster in there, if I recall correctly, so let's give it a shot. It contains the Sun Sword, but there's monsters inside! Or, well, a monster, but yeah. I believe Queen Lamia is susceptible to a minion toad, but... Uh-oh. It's using a blast on us to paralyze us. Man, that's pretty effective for a level 1 spell. This time, Queen Lamia, you are mine! Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot that they were paralyzed there. Um, yeah, let's take out the Queen Lamia there. Crawl isn't too much to worry about, although it can kill you with its physical attacks. Yeah, okay, maybe it is a little something to worry uh about. Uh-oh. Thank goodness for the mini-spell. Yay! Uh, Richard died. Okay, well, I'll have to heal on it after this. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I also took the opportunity to um, equip the Sun Sword on Guy and the Defense Sword, hand down the Defense Sword to Richard, so... A few chests over here, I think. up here, and I really hope these chests are here. And my map says there's treasure here, but it doesn't say exactly where, but I'm pretty sure I remember that it is here. Ha-ha! My memory serves me correctly. And we get three elixirs. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take a moment to uh, backtrack a couple floors, and, um, well, I will meet you back there and to take the other path, then. Okay, I made it back a couple floors here, and HP and MP's good, so let's keep going. So on the way back here, I met up with a, a cockatrice after a battle with a goddess, right? Nothing too challenging, but it got me thinking. You see, I don't think Leon really wants to take over the world. I think that he wants to become a drug dealer. I mean, think about it. I mean, he's got cockatrices trying to get you stoned, goddesses trying to give you Bacchus wine to get you drunk... Heck, even Maria said that her brother's probably stoned off his ass from some black magic. 
I mean, he doesn't want to take over the world. He wants the drug money. He wants to see the cash. Speaking of drug dealers, that reminds me of something Bill Maher said once. You know those drug commercials you see on TV? You know, the ones that say, if you suffer from these symptoms, tell your doctor about Valtrex, right? Tell your doctor? Shouldn't your doctor tell you? I mean, if you're telling your doctor what drugs you need, isn't he simply a dealer at that point, really? Right? Okay, so we've finally made it to the throne room. Let's uh, walk around a little bit, get the last of the treasure chests. I'm not a fan of those drug commercials myself. I'm never taking any of that crap. No thank you. Sweet chat. Now that, that's the throne room up there, but we don't want to go there yet. And you know what I love about those drug commercials? It's like these allergy medications. They're like, okay, so, um, oh, warning. Side effects may include runny nose, sneezing, and asthma-related symptoms. Oh, you mean the symptoms that your drug is supposed to prevent for me? Well, thanks a lot! Sorry, I just get a little carried away sometimes there. Okay, so before going up there, I just have some, uh, yeah, I just want to, uh, rearrange something real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back, and, uh, let's continue onward, then. Oh, I thought the automatic sequence began here. Okay, well, I'll just keep walking up there. The Dark Knight! Leon, stop! I thought you'd come. You're my friend. Why are you telling me to bow before you? What happened to you? Oh, he can float across the floor now. He doesn't even have to walk anymore. Why is it that people always become more powerful when they become evil, you know? And then, of course, well, you'll see. Uh-oh! It's the Emperor. I thought we killed him. He's back from the dead. The Empire is mine! Not anymore. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, so he's surrounding us with fireballs. Uh, couldn't you just step out of the way? He's going to make this world a living hell. Well, that wouldn't be too hard. We're already halfway there. Uh, if you just step to the left, you can get out of the way of the flames, but... Richard, what are you doing? I'm the hear you. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't think so. You're not going to take on an undead emperor by yourself. Oh, no. Richard sacrificed himself for us, and the castle transformed for no apparent reason. What happened to Leon there? How did uniform change? What's going on? He's not the Dark Knight anymore. What happened? Emperor rose from the dead. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, well, I understand. You couldn't save the world in that situation. Yeah, he sacrificed himself. Fortunately, I took a moment to re or remove his equipment there, so. And now Leon finally joins our party once again. Yay. I know, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be evil. Now, the interesting thing about Leon is that, unlike the beginning of the game in the first battle there, he is now left-handed. Somehow becoming evil makes him left-handed, because all left-handed people are evil, of course. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he comes with his own equipment, but I'm going to have to rearrange all that and sell my excess equipment and all that other stuff, and we got to figure out what we're going to do to stop the undead emperor, so... Um, yeah, that's a lot of stuff we gotta take care of, so I'm gonna take care of that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!